Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and you saw in our last video, we used our brass wizard to pick up a bunch of brass. Now it's time to sort it. Now, one of the few things that I hate more than picking up brass is sitting there going to a bucket of Dirty Rain's brass and sorting it out by sizes. So, the same company where I got my brass wizard, I got this, shell sorters. They're a pretty neat little device. They're a hard plastic, made to fit inside a five-gallon bucket. And they have some grooves carved in them. These grooves are slightly smaller than the brass that they're designed for. And so anything smaller than the brass that this is designed to collect will fall through the holes, keeping your brass in there. Now, I have a hard time remembering which one's what, even though they were pretty smart color coding them. But uh, the yellow one sorts out 45, 308, and anything larger. The blue sorts out 40. 357 and 38, and the black 9 millimeter. And if you buy a little metal plate you stick in here, it'll also sort out 380. The way it works is you get you a five gallon bucket, you put the biggest one in there, you fill it up with your brass, and you shake the fire out of it. Anything smaller than 45 will fall into your bucket. So then you end up with just 45 and bigger in here. So easy to sort. You take you another empty bucket, you put this in. You dump your bucket of everything smaller than 45 in here, you shake the fire out of it, and you know your 40 and your 38, 357, it's gonna stay in here. Everything smaller is going to fall into your bucket. Take an empty bucket, put this one on, pour the leftovers in here, shake it. All your 22, your gravel, your dirt, uh, spent primers, all that junk will fall through, leaving just, you know, your 9 millimeter and your 223. Okay? It's really easy then to sort out the difference between 9 millimeter and 223. I love these things, and I have taken to going out to ranges where I know they're shooting, say, a carry permit, whatever, and they're all shooting brand new ammunition, and then going in and with permission, of course suck it all up, take it home, and sort it. So now I've got five-gallon buckets full of 40 and 357 SIG and all sorts of stuff that I don't even have guns for that uh, I can clean and, and either reload or trade off to people. So this thing is great. On uh, my five-star, you know, with five being the 1911-45, I think this one up, this, this is probably a four and a half. This is a uh, a pretty great little invention. So, let's show you how it works. Okay, you probably noticed my stool here. My grandfather made that. It's an old tractor seat. It's one of the most comfortable little roll away stools I can get. I love this thing for reloading. But anyway, let's get back to what we're doing. I take my brass, I dump it in the bucket. Okay? You can fill this thing all the way up, but I'd recommend against it. Uh, if you keep it where it shakes pretty easy. Okay. That took out all the... Uh, That took out everything smaller than my 45. So this is all my 45. Take out the next one. Then all this leaves is my 357 SIG and my 40. And if I had any uh, uh, revolver rounds like 38 or 357, it would leave them too. Okay? The 
last is my nine mil. And if I had any any range gunk, dirt, sand, 22 shells, all that would fall through. But since I filled this up out of my uh, uh, buckets of brass, I know there's nothing else in there. And so after I shook that, the only thing left would be my 9 mil and 223 if I had any. So the only thing left to do is go back through and hand sort through this because it's mixed. I've got some um, 40 and I've got some 357 SIG. And if you shake it real good, these nested cases, a lot of times they'll come out. But I didn't shake it all that good, so I have to go through and, and get any nested cases. But really, that's all, all there is to it. And this thing is a great device. So um, until next time, you can always catch us on the blog at www.tngun.com. Thanks.